Hedera HBAR, are we the next Ethereum killer? Also, we are going to be creating partnerships in 2024 and we are going to be leaning in on this one thing. I'm also going to be showing you guys an interview with regards to the Hedera token service and how it can be used for real world asset tokenization. I'm also going to be showing you what Charles Adkins has said with regards to the community and how positive they have been. And in addition to this, some other news that is coming up in 2024 with regards to events that concern Hedera. So do pay close attention to this and all I ask from you are two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well so I'm not going to keep you guys waiting the first bit which is the ethereum killer as you can see over here we have the fees the charge fee and the max fee oh look how much does it cost with Hedera only a couple of cents eight cents doesn't really matter does it when it comes to these fees but ethereum gas fee of this much $217.75 and nobody wants to be paying this amount and that is just the estimated gas fee it's not the max gas fee for a transaction to be completed in likely under than 30 seconds and so we all know that it is a no-brainer as to why institutions should be picking Hedera and utilizing it compared with Ethereum. This gas fee is not sustainable as of now and it's not sustainable going in the, in the future. No institution wants to be paying this amount and I'm just thinking right now what I could actually buy with this gas fee. Maybe it would probably cover two or three weeks worth of food shopping, perhaps even a month if I'm on a diet. And so this is definitely daylight robbery that I call over here. Now we're going to take a look at this post by HBAR Foundation. It is to do with Hedera's token service and its purpose built for real world asset tokenization at scale. Now I'm not going to be showing you the whole video. I have actually watched it myself but I've only picked out two clips that I want to be showing you guys so we'll just take a look at these. In an area that is really trying to be on the forefront of innovation is, is really important. I think there are some partnerships that we are working on that I think are, are very interesting. One is Oasis Pro. I think that they are a great organization led by a founder, longtime person in Wall Street and finance that I think is, is doing a lot of interesting things around tokenization, around you know so many areas of this complex environment of how you get tokens on chain, track them and settlement and do all of the things that you need to do in this decentralized environment. I think that they're going to be important to us, you know, in the future. I think a lot of the organizations we're talking to, and I don't want to name them, but I bet you if you sat and went, who are the top five organizations that, you know, I would say are in finance, you know, we're having some level of discussion with them in, in the hopes. And so one key point to note there is that they are having discussions with the top five financial institutions. Who they actually are, he's not said, but that could be the big players that we hear of on a daily basis. Now this is Oasis Pro, and if you have a look on their website, you can see over here that you can invest in and issue digital securities. And if we take a look at their marketplace, you'll see over here that you can trade both equity and debt in digital form through the use of a blockchain. Now what have I said before with regards to tokenization and what we have have seen a lot of these securities like your stocks and ETFs and bonds are now being tokenized and that means that they have to be put on a secondary exchange so it can increase more liquidity for both institutional investors and for retail investors as well and it's all to do with the fact that it can be recorded on a blockchain and that's essentially how it will work with the verification and then I'm going to be showing you this next clip that we have over here before we have a look at what Charles has said. Real world asset tokenization what is important the area that we have seen to be the most important to them is settlement, um, largely because when you're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars, in some cases trillions of dollars, two basis points is a lot. Um, you know, it's a lot of money to give up in a settlement transaction. So they're trying to figure out how to optimize that part of their value chain and can Hedera be a part of that? We certainly have organizations like Red Swan and others that are tokenizing real world assets like real estate and Aberdeen's doing it with their money market funds and their real estate fund, et cetera. We're going to continue to see that. So this is an area in 2024, we're going to lean in and we're going to create partnerships like Oasis Pro and others that you know are going to help us lead from the front. And so essentially you heard it from him over there. We know that institutions 
Americans want fast settlement times and with Hedera we can provide the finality of transactions within three to five seconds so there's no problem or bother with us on that side because we can already provide that service and we also have the important use cases of Red Swan where there is real world asset tokenization and so what it means is that their four billion dollar portfolio is going to be tokenized and Hedera is helping with that and not only with Red Swan but we have also seen it with Aberdeen and the assets under management I think is 500 billion it's something around that mark and that tokenization is to do with their money market funds and so we have already achieved all of this stuff in 2023 two really big partnerships and we are only going to be seeing more as we go along in 2024 now let's take a look at this that we have from Charles essentially he talks about the community how we've been very positive and involved with Hedera and HBAR he's only been the president now for roughly around about under a month but so far so good I like his post I like what I see from him he posts very early as well and pretty much nearly every day since he has been the president and he's very active in the community he also asked for our opinions as well and so I think it's a good thing now let's take a look at this just blown away by how um how powerful the community is I mean I, I've been a part like you said of other other protocols that are out there the minute that this community heard the position I was stepping into it was nothing but excitement love support everybody just giving ideas and that's the thing i mean i do read my dms that's how you connected with me you, you dm'd me right on on x and right away we were able to get this scheduled so i do read them myself um i do read replies myself so i always tell people just just keep talking that, that's why i wake up early in the morning the first couple hours of my morning before the work day starts i make sure to engage with the community and try to make sure that that communication's there so keep it coming i i do take the feedback seriously and if there's places i can implement i'll do my best so obviously it's good for us and with the hbar community as we know when it comes to charles in general if we just take a look at his profile he has actually posted quite a few proof of concepts and he usually does it every day as well so you can see over here that he has not only done that but he has also asked for people's opinions with regards to what they would like to see in terms of the hedera projects and that was yesterday and what he should look into in addition to this it is very good to see that he is active and involved with the community because compared to other crypto projects sometimes it's just radio silence right and you don't really hear anything he does retweet news very fast and he keeps us up to date so so far good performance from charles and i'm only looking forward to see what he can bring more to the table now let's take a look at this post that we have so over here it says a new frontier for payments 2024 so what is this well there is going to be an event happening in 2024 and this event is called the identity and payments summit and this is both applicable to ripple and hedera so digital currencies are reshaping finance and they offer for a new payment frontier, cross-border investments, secure contracts via blockchain, and swift third-party free transactions. And let's take a look at the partners that we have over here. We have FIS Global. And who is that partner? Well, that's Hedera partner that we've got over here. We also have MasterCard, and we know that Ripple have actually partnered with MasterCard just recently, I think. And we have some big names over here like JP Morgan and Elevon. That this represents a new frontier for payments, making way for a far less complicated international finance system a currency that can be used across borders for investment and cross-border payments is only increasing now ripple can help with that we know that they are a big player and they are also trying to do this in africa ripple is also in the game with cbdc's and they have done many pilot programs they are actively involved they are also in discussions currently with a dozen governments across the world with regards to issuing their own cbdc but talking about hedera we have the usdc a stable coin it allows users to seamlessly transact in crypto and avoid the price volatility of other crypto assets and so that statement right there is Hedera written all over it we know that USDC coin is by Circle and Coinbase on the Hedera network which uses what fast settlement times it says over here it wants to seamlessly transact and so it wants to be quick it wants to be clear want to be able to have that settlements and also avoid price volatility what does that mean well we want the low fees low predictable fees we don't want variable fees and currently so far 9.24 million USDC has been minted on Hedera and this is really bullish news for both Hedera and Ripple. Now before we have a look at the price action I just want to have a look at this post it stays over here our company's in compliance with occupational health. Now did you know that an employer has 15 days to provide exposure and medical records associated with exposure to an employee when an employee or a designated representative makes a request if they cannot they must state why and when they can. MyTerra 365 built on Hedera and powered by Arco Echo can help with this and if you look 
look up OSHA 1910.1020, you can see over here that it states the rules for the access to the records and that it should be requesting the record of the reason for the delay if there is a delay and at the earliest date when the record can be made available. And as we know, Hedera can help with tracking data and with records as well. So let's have a look at the price action for Hedera HBAR. We are currently trading at 0 0.08016. We are down by 4.64% on the one day chart. For the 24 hour volume, we are down by 8.34% and we are trading at 96.3 million dollars. So today is the 6th of January and in the earlier hours of the morning, we were trading at 0 0.08307. For the low of the day so far, it was at 0 0.07881 and we have actually now made a newer low because we have gone past that 8 cent level. And you can see over here on the chart yesterday, we were at 0 0.08452. But this is our new low here as we have taken another dip. And actually on the 4th of January, we were just on the edge of that 9 cent level. We were actually trading at 0 0.08905. But you can see over here, it seems like as if we are pulling back pretty much and we could actually see the mid range of the 7 cents. Now on the 7 day chart, we are down by 7.84%. I definitely do want to see H bar coin get back up to 9 cents. So I mean, you can see that for the overall market, we are down by the 24 hour volume of just under 21% and the market cap is down at $1.64 trillion. And so for tomorrow, I'm expecting it to go back up to at least 0 0.085. But if we do see more of a pullback, we could head below that and go to 0 0.076. Guys, if you want daily Hedera HBAR coin news, subscribe to the channel and like the video as well.